Hello, I'm George. I'm here from ABB today at Inverter Drive Systems in their training room. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about PID control. So what we have here on this demo rig is we have an inverter, a, fa a fan, a damper, and we have a pressure control point. The pressure is going to be fairly crucial to what we're doing here. So PID control is the principle of using an inverter to control the speed of an application. So for example, if you go to a hotel, you stay overnight, you have a shower in the morning, PID control is what keeps your shower at that constant pressure. So if you think if your hotel's got 100 rooms and 100 people having a shower all at once, you're going to have to have a pump there to speed the pressure of the water up. That's all done through PID. So for example, when the flow demand comes on, we, the inverter will speed up the pump to, to match that level of flow. When the demand drops off, that level of flow drops off as well, and the inverter will slow the pump down, which creates a bit of an energy saving as well. So in order to show you that, so what we've done is we've got an inverter here set in PID mode, and we've got a set point of 9.9 .9 pascals. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on and we're going to watch the speed as I open and close this damper. And I apologise, it will be a little bit noisy. So where we're at here is we've got firstly no demand running and we're running the inverter at about 30 hertz to meet the 9.9 pascals. If we open the damper to simulate everybody taking a shower or lots of demand, you're going to see that the inverter will then speed up to try and match the required flow. So for example here, we've got the damper fully open which is signaling lots of demand and the inverter is struggling to keep up. Now we close this down, back this off, to signal the end of the demand and the inverter is then slowing the pump down. And that is PID control. Thank you very much.